All right, so this is what sun scalding looks like. Um, for some reason, this is the only tomato plant that got scalded. I'm not quite sure why, uh, but you'll see it looks like that. All right, you'll see that burn. It looks like it just came out of a microwave. Okay, get yeah, close. And that's sun scalding. That's basically what you're going to see when the sun is incredibly intensely hot. It's not just the sun's light that's causing this damage. It's also the intense heat associated with it. And uh, there may have been some morning dew on the top of the tomato when the sun came out. It was still on the tomato. And it just will literally burn uh, marks into the tomato. Okay. So that's sun scalding on the tomatoes. I'll show you what sun scalding looks like on a pepper. Now this is one of my peppers. This is from one of my three year peppers that are in the greenhouse and I broke it off to bring it up here. And you can see that it's just uh, an ugly awful looking yellow color. It's not melted yet. But you can see it's getting wrinkles right there. That means it's starting to soften. It's basically you cook, like cooking a, it's like when you take a pepper and you put it in an oven and uh, it gets soft like that. That's basically what happened to it. It's starting to cook inside the shell. And uh, this will rot if I leave it on the vine. So I had to pull it. Uh, you can see it's still light green on the back. I mean, this, this pepper had a little ways to go yet. Unfortunately, uh, I had to pull this one. But uh, you can see it's just the colors are, are not right on a on this pepper as to the way it should be um, as it ripens. Because they usually go from like green to like a slightly orange and then boom they turn to red, you know. Like I have some peppers here. Well these peppers this year for some reason are turning brown. You can see, look, there's brown. They're brown first, and then they turn red. So, I don't know. That's something different going on with my peppers this year. It might have something to do with the intense heat. Um, but, uh, yeah, there are a whole bunch of the bells are actually going right on them. But, uh, these, that, those are really the only two sun scalding fatalities so far. Uh, I don't know if I really have any more. I didn't really check inside the greenhouse too much for any sun scalding on uh, the um, other tomatoes and whatnot but yeah that's what uh, sun scalding looks like and um, you could see it's on this pepper first you can see the, the this side here is green it, that was the side just facing that sun the whole time just cooking this pepper literally I gotta eat this thing tonight before it, it it'll probably be mushed by tonight and uh, also, you can see a little bit of sun scalding on uh, my habaneros as well. I moved these out of the way of the sun, at least for the afternoon sun. You can see a little bit, they're getting really dark on the top. All right, that's some of the sunburn that they're getting from this, from, uh, this intense sunlight. You can see this, this one's getting some purple in it. I don't, I don't think they're bad or anything. I just, you know, they're, they're, they're really got cooked pretty bad. This one, this one literally got cooked right off the stem. It's actually ripe. It's like as if it's picked. So that's basically, uh, done right there. Um, I'll wait till it ripens up. I'll, or I'll wait some of these ripen. and I'll do a taste test for you. Uh, let me see. Is there any other, you can see how badly these plants got damaged from the sun. I don't see any more sun scalding. Like I say, I pulled these out of the sun. This one's starting to exhibit some sun scald. I might may have just saved this one. You can see it's just starting to show a little sun scald. I'm not sure if that's a uh, big rainbow or this plant is my is my Nagala. This one really took some serious abuse from the sun. I don't know if that's going to make it or not. But yeah, here's another look at the. Uh, Sun skull just give you a good idea What you see if you see this this is what your problem is you're probably going to want to shade off your tomatoes a Little bit get some shade cloth or something on it All right, and then we'll take a look again At some of the other vegetables coming up here, you know, I'll, I'll give you an idea it looks like I'm going to get a couple tomatoes anyway this year uh, but Unless they give me a good quality fruit and something 
worth reviewing. I probably won't be reviewing them. Uh, here's the black cherry. So they seem to be taking it pretty good. Um, this is really getting badly damaged from the sun. This is the um, uh, Tamarillo. Man, this thing really took a beat in the sun and the heat is just pounding the life. I didn't think this thing would actually take this kind of damage, but man, it's really getting pounded. So, all right, so that's what, uh, that's what sun skull looks like, guys. All right, see you on the next one.